Good morning. My name is Jorge Fernando Negrete, president of the PL. And it's a pleasure to be once again at this very important meeting to rethink digital policy, digital inclusion, and the new public policies in Latin America. Innovation Day is a tradition on its own, and this brings together the most important people in public policies, regulation, and technology innovation. There's no public policy that is most important in the 21st century than public and digital policy. And this has the possibility of working on this in the economic arena, the capacity to maintain economic indicators of uh, the citizens, companies, and public administrations from the basic rights. It enables all the basic rights. The basic rights cannot, uh, you know, depend on each other. They are forever. They're universal. By enabling one, you enable all of them. The internet, telecommunication services, broadband, finds in digital policy and digital regulation the most important ally to fight inequality, to enable the economies of our countries, and to accelerate growth processes, economic growth processes, the authorities, the thinkers in the, the digital world, and everybody that is going to be participating in this uh, two days are the most important people in their own area. But basically, these are people that come here to bring reactions, reflections, and questions. Latin America needs today this public policy. Digital policy, different from the traditional uh, policy, has the capacity to generate digital uh, transformation and benefits immediately. Digital policy brings digital well-being. A situation where technology together allows to improve the quality of life of the citizens. Everybody that is connected to a mobile device uh, preserves their right to have access to information, to health, to culture, and even, even the right to its own life. If you are connected to a mobile device, you would this enable and strengthen the democratic institutions and also the economic institution, and it generates and release high amounts of well-being. This is what the Innovation Day is all about. This is uh, something that makes me proud. And we know that we have uh, the uh, a clock with us, with the Ibero-American Secretary uh, that organizes the Ibero-American uh, Summit for Presidents and the support the Huawei. This is a meeting that uh, we put together for the entire Latin America, Ibero-America, thanks to the Ibero-American uh, General Secretariat. And it's always a pleasure to be part of the most advanced thoughts and thinking in the region. I want to now give um, a start to the academic program to Innovation Day. And I'm going to be welcoming Catherine Chain, who is the v uh, corporate VP Senior, Head of Communications of Huawei. Catherine, you have the floor. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm Catherine Chen, Senior Vice President and Board Member of Huawei. I'm honored to share Huawei's approaches and practices on innovation for the digital economy. We hope this will help drive advances in the sector. We now live and breathe digital every day, everywhere. We are all curious about how this digital world will unfold in the future. However, we don't have all the answers. What will our world look like in 10 years? What tech will we use? Will autonomous driving be a reality by that time? Will robots become commonplace in our lives? Will tech innovation bring more risks or opportunities? I would like to ask you to look back 10 years when the 4G era had just begun. 
Back then, we could already surf the internet with 3G networks. Fast 4G connections seemed to be of little use. However, a couple of years later, we witnessed dramatic changes and it became normal to watch videos on mobile phones. Many early adopters of 4G, such as China and the US, were embracing new forms of business. New media was rapidly developing, short videos and live streaming were becoming part of people's lives. So I am optimistic about the intelligent world of the future. Innovation is part of Huawei's DNA. We reinvest 10% or more of our revenue back to R&D each year. During our development, many breakthroughs in key markets would have been impossible without innovation. For example, our distributed base station and single run solution were developed to address market needs. Thanks to our hard work in R&D, these two concepts were translated into real-world applications. This has also been driven by changes in the industry. The ICT sector is becoming a platform industry, and digital technologies have become a catalyst for changes in most every vertical industry. The convergence of 5G, cloud, and AI technologies is a strong driver of change. Today, it is difficult to find an industry that rejects digital transformation. As an ICT infrastructure and solutions provider, Huawei is also an enabler of digital economy. Digital economy is the latest and the predominant form of economy. Together with our partners, Huawei is dedicated to rolling out digital infrastructure and the technologies to all countries and regions to create a better world. During the pandemic, we have worked with over 20 hospitals in this region. The application of our AI technologies aids diagnosis, boosting their efficiency. At a time when the hospitals are often overwhelmed, we have played our part to save lives. I'm so proud of this. Our accomplishments in cashless payment have also reduced infections. Meanwhile, our cloud and AI technologies are helping Costa Rica, Chile, and Brazil protect their rainforest biodiversity. This includes the AI-assisted protection of Darwin's fox in Chile. At Huawei, we are all working to overcome our limits in innovation to make a difference. This seemingly simple philosophy is what drives us. In 1998, Huawei first set foot in this region. We established an office in Brazil with just a few employees. We worked very hard to find opportunities. Today, we have 3,500 employees in this region. Many have been with Huawei for a long time. One of our employees in Argentina is a leader in digital video and image solutions. He chose Huawei among many offers. He has never regretted this decision as working with many outstanding employees in our company brings out the best in him. He realized what could be achieved with a group of people sharing the same ideals. The innovation economy is booming in this region. Innovative companies are emerging in great numbers. It is said that more than 10,000 startups spring up in Mexico alone each year. Huawei helps build the digital infrastructure for this region and provides cloud and AI technologies to power the development of the innovation industry. 
it is estimated that Huawei has created almost 100,000 jobs, both directly and indirectly, in this region. We have also just launched a fund worth 10 million US dollars for startups in the region. Favorable policies create a fertile environment for innovation and growth. Many governments in this region realize the importance of national digital policies. This is shown by the digital economy blueprints launched by many countries. They aspire to be the region benchmarks of digital economy. Colombia is a prime example. At the end of last year, Colombia passed the entrepreneurship law with the aim of establishing a regulatory framework that favors the growth, consolidation, and sustainability of companies. We look forward to communicating with you all and listening to your opinions on innovation economy and digital policy. We have put down roots in this land of passion, vitality, and creativity over the last 23 years and become a trusted digital partner. We will join hands with more players to help the region advance digitalization and build a brighter future. Thank you.